Welcome to the Colorado Real Estate Leaders Podcast, brought to you by Trailstone Insurance Group, bringing you interviews with Colorado's best real estate and mortgage professionals, empowering you to understand the current trends in the housing market so you can make the American dream your reality. Enjoy today's episode. Well, it's a great day in Colorado, and welcome to the Colorado Real Estate Leaders Podcast. Today, we have with us Randy Kaufman, who's a senior mortgage loan originator and certified military specialist. Randy, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you back, and I know we always like to talk about new things and new ways that you can serve your clients. So uh, catch us up to speed since last time we spoke, and then we'll dive right into some of the new programs that you have uh, that you've rolled out. Well, thank you. I have a community hero, community heroes program, where uh, we only ask for one percent down payment. So that's one percent down payment for firemen, policemen, nurses, wow. teachers, mi- military, and dispatchers. Huh. That's pretty exciting. Explain more about that. How does well, it work? Well, um, we we have decided that the people who hold our communities together are very important and very dear to us. And we want to help them buy homes in the communities that they work. If uh, they only have uh, low down payment funds is what the problem is across America. So we're trying to help with 1% down and uh, then they can make their monthly payments from there. But um, 1% is a very, very low minimum down payment. And um, they also get uh, closing cost credit, wow. and they have discounts on mortgage insurance. Okay, so I think it's important. Run through the list of folks that are uh, eligible for this type of program again. Thank you. Firemen, EMTs, police and law enforcement, nurses, school teachers and counselors, retired and active military, and dispatchers. That's a pretty good group of, uh, of people there. In more ways yeah. than one. That's that's awesome. You know, you had mentioned uh, all but, in my opinion, all but one of those would be considered first responders. Mm-hmm. So like teachers, not necessarily first responder, but everyone else a first responder. But I love yeah. how you guys are calling this and you're referencing these groups as heroes, not not only first responders, which they are, but they are heroes. And I love the, the wordplay on that. So that's really nice. Yeah. Yes, it is. They they keep our communities going. Yeah. So let's dive in a little bit to some of the details. Like when you say um, one percent down, is that one loan of ninety nine percent, or is there a combination of a first mortgage and second mortgage? Not that it matters at all, but um, no, how but is that structured? That, that's a yeah. That's a very good question. It is one loan, ninety nine percent of the purchase price. That's so. amazing. And you mm-hmm. said closing cost credit. So that's not even hoping the seller helps out. That's help from, from your program? Well, yes. We give a small credit. It's $750 towards closing costs. Okay. So it, it does help a little bit. Um, sure. Usually that can cover the cost of the title policy. Um, but there is a credit there. That's really huge. And and then when you said reduced or, you know, maybe a little bit lower private mortgage insurance, um, I think we all know that when you put lower money down, there's going to be a little more risk. So there's private mortgage insurance. So talk about how yeah. the private mortgage insurance maybe compares to maybe a traditional loan uh, private mortgage insurance when you put less money down. Yes, we're not asking for the full um, fee on the mortgage insurance. We're asking for just a little bit. So there will be mortgage insurance, but it's discounted. So figure on 300,000, it's probably about a 30 to $40 saving right off the top. So that's per month. Yeah. And then is there any type of um, prepayment penalty? So what if the house goes up in value enough that it makes it feasible to refinance and eliminate the mortgage insurance? What's the, what's the path forward? We're happy to help them with the refinance. There's no prepayment penalty. Those were outlawed 10 years ago. So <laughs> as soon as they want to refinance. Thankfully. Re- yep. They were. <laughs> yeah, um, thankfully. As soon yeah. as they, yes. As long as, as um, you know, when they're ready to refinance, we're ready to help them. There's, there's no time, no time wait. 
That's excellent. And obviously, you can never say, do this now, and then in 19 months and 14 days, we will do, because nobody knows what the future holds. Nobody Correct. knows what the rates will do. Nobody knows what house appreciation will do. But the point is, that would be one thing to keep in the back of your mind is keep an eye maybe every couple of years on the house value and what the rate environment yeah. is doing, because maybe you can get back together with Randy and say, hey, would it behoove us at all to look at potentially refinancing where there's enough equity to then eliminate that mortgage? insurance and then that could save a little bit more and again if the numbers look good that's fine if not you just you know wait another year and, and just keep an eye on it correct so what's the housing market look like for these heroes and first responders? Um, to me, um, there's always going to be these benefits like we're hearing here today that people just don't know about. Um, why would they, you know, where are they going to hear about this other than here? But I mean, where, what are some maybe community organizations that you're partnering with to get the word out? I'm trying to talk to as many groups Um groups of police, groups of school teachers, groups of firemen as I can. Um, it's not easy. Um, when I talk to realtors, they don't really get the idea. But when I talk to the end user, say the firemen at the firehouse, they understand what, what this is and how this can help because that means that they can live in a community that they work in and they don't have to drive a long commute to get to work. Mm -hmm. And is this a national program or is this in certain states? Yes. Can you help? Yeah, where can no, you help this is, with this? I can help in every state. I've done loans uh, currently in 18 different states, but we can go national. And uh, this can be for a second home as well. This does not have wow. to be just primary residence. So That's if pretty amazing. One of the, if one of the borrowers fits in the group, teacher, nurse, go on. Um, then we can help them. And like I said, we can do a second home with 1% down. That's pretty amazing because normally you think of second home, um, you know, that's different than an investment property, but even yeah. so second home you think is going to require a little bit more money down. So that's really amazing there. Um, do you ever have people you're working with that have plenty down, but then they hear about this and they qualify with the um, hero first responder and they go, well, you know, maybe it would be nice to stay liquid and keep my cash in some other type of an account, do the 1% down. What are some of the planning options they have that way? They, they do have options because um, as you said, they want to keep the money in the bank for maybe repairs. And that's the, that's the big difference that we can play with because I ask them what house payment do they want compared to the rent that they've been paying and here's current rates and here's if you put 1% or 5% or 10% down, still get the discounted mortgage insurance and um, the help you know, get the closing cost, cost credit. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, you know, they have, they have options. But like I said, keep the money in the bank, maybe to do that repairs that they weren't thinking about. Maybe the carpet, maybe the paint, things like that. Well, if you think about a seesaw, when you push down on one side, the other side goes up. So when you push yeah. down on the down payment, the risk goes up for the lender. So with an increased risk with the lower down payment, do they have uh, more stringent underwriting where you have to no. have different no. you know, qualifications? We we can go down to a 680 credit score. And um, no, this is actually not stringent at all. Yeah. Because you'd think like, well, you'd better have, you know, 20,000 in reserves in an investment account or you better have. So if it's no different than most in 680, um, you know, you would think you would need to have 720, 760, but 680 is a very fair credit score to qualify for something like this. Yes. And we don't have a written down reserve requirement. I like to see three payments in the bank. And that's because I'm old and been in this business a long time, and I expect people to have a little bit of back, a little bit of backing. But um, we don't have a written down reserve requirement. Yeah, not required, just prefer preferred, and that's just a little free advice, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. 
So um, talk a little bit about what you're seeing when you, I would suspect that when you get into the communities of these first responder heroes, that um, the word is going to kind of get around like, oh my word, you just bought a house, congratulations. Um, wow, I had I only put down 1%. So what are some of the things you're hearing from the people that now have moved in and you keep in touch with? Um, is there... They're excited to be able to have money left after the transaction to make those improvements that we were talking about. Um, one, when you can help one in a group, then you get phone calls from the other members, their, their friends, the family, yeah. and that's, that's how the business is good. Um, it doesn't matter the interest rate. I hate to say that, but if people are looking to buy a house or people are looking to refinance, um, they call. And so, you know, with 1% down, as we said, there's still money left over for improvements or just in general and savings. And those are all things that we talk to them about. So it's, 99%, it's a lot of the education. 99% loan. I'm assuming that what I'm about to say is correct. So, but I, I, I know this is where my mind went. So maybe others people would as well. Hey, Randy, I bought a house um, nine years ago. I want to do a cash out refinance and pay off some bills. Give me a 99% refinance loan. I'm certain that it's only available for purchases, right? This is a purchase program, but I can do a 95% refinance on a normal program and to get them their cash out. That's really wow. aggressive. Yeah, that is. That's great. So what are you seeing in the industry right now? Like you lend in many, many states. You've done loads in 18 different states. What are you seeing the market doing as a whole? Have things cooled off um, as far as refinances enough that now it's predominantly purchases or if uh, or, or less people buying that are first-time home buyers? What are you seeing overall the market doing? I see the purchase market being about 90% of the, the, act, the active applications that come in um, there are refinances. I believe there will be more refinances in December and January after uh, bills come due and holiday spending goes through. Um, yeah. But homes, there are a lot more homes on the market than there were just three months ago, let alone six months ago. And people are still buying homes. And I, I got a deal in this week that was on the market. The home was on the market one day. Wow. So... It, it's crazy, but things are still moving. It's just a lot more homes out there. And obviously with interest rates being where they are, we've eliminated some buyers, but things are still moving. And well, prices are not falling that, that much. That seesaw example, you know, a lot of homes on the market one month and then the next month, then it shifts a little and the rates are going up and the or they're going down or there's always something. And I guess it kind of gets down to if you have a life um, – uh, event that makes you need to buy a house. Maybe you re, uh, relocated into you know the the area. You need to buy a house. You need to buy a house. So you then look yeah. for the best program, the best rate at that moment. And if you try to time the market and go, oh, rumor has it that rates are going to go down or this, you're going to miss it somehow because no one has a crystal ball. So you make wise decisions with the information that you have right in front of you and you move forward. And then guess what? You don't look back. Kind of like when you go to the grocery That's store correct. and you change lines and you look over and you're like, oh, I should have stayed or good thing I have moved over. So you just move forward, right? That's correct. You, uh, you get in and start your savings. Owning a home is a savings plan. So you get in, you start, and you don't look back, and then maybe in a year or two, you can refinance. So so how, have you ever worked with clients that you helped get into a home and then years down the road, they're like, well, hey, um, we want to talk to you now about a second home or, you know, we really want to put some of our effort into maybe buying an investment property. What are some of the um, the scenarios that way that you work with clients on? It's it's all education. So I've I've done the most I've ever worked with a client was four houses with one borrower um, over the course of probably 10 years. And it's just education of what they can afford then and where the rates are and where are loan programs. Loan programs come and go. And so you just try to fit the numbers into their scenario. Um, everybody has an idea of 
house payment, just like a car payment, what they want. And we fit it in and tell them, you know, here's what you can buy right now. And, or here's the mortgage payment you can afford right now. So you just fit the programs into their ideas because it's their money and their home and they're the boss. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a really good point. Yeah. Um, what one question I quick had, this is not the 1% is pretty special just to your company. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. It's a portfolio program. Uh, we keep all the loans. You make your mortgage payments to us, uh, either online or we can draft the payment from your checking account, but it is our own program. Yeah. So if listeners are listening to this and you call up your average lender, they're not going to have this available. You got to reach out to Randy and, uh, yeah. You know, that's that's important for, for the listeners to understand as well. This is a, a, a special program through Notre Dame, correct? Yeah, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Yeah. That's a really huge point, too, because I think a lot of people hear something like, oh, this sounds good. I'm going to go Google it and I'm going to go get on. You know, and I talked with a lot of financial professionals that will say, you know, hey, here's this kind of program that we work with. Well, listen, you can't just go Google it and do this. This is proprietary. This is you know, yeah. exclusive. So knowing that this is exclusive to Randy is really an important piece, because if you are one of those first responder heroes, this is something that would be very helpful. And I would suspect, too, that if you are a first responder hero that has a relative or a friend in another state, check with them and see if they would qualify and if he can help them in one of those states too. Yes. Yeah. What a great service for, for our heroes, as you mentioned before. It's, uh, it's great that Notre Dame has come along and done this for them. Yeah. It's, it's a very good program. Well, Randy, I tell you, that's it's really great to hear that. I love when we can honor our heroes. And if someone is listening to this thinking, I wonder if, or could this help me, what's the best way they can reach out and connect with you and learn more? They can call me or text me at 602-740-6678. And I basically work until 9 o'clock at night and all weekend long. <laughs> So I will work hard for you. Uh, So that's awesome. That's really good. So Randy, thank you so much for coming on. It was a real pleasure talking with you and learning about how you guys are honoring our heroes. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for listening to the Colorado Real Estate Leaders Podcast, brought to you by Trailstone Insurance Group. To learn more about the topics mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.coloradorealestateleaders.com.